it's where we live. We can look up and see airliners flying by, military aircraft, of course, and those aerial firefighting planes all passing by. But now we have something you don't have to strain your neck to see. <laughs> Flying bison. Oh, what? Not animals that fly. Oh. It's our new developmental baseball team. It's for really talented college players who have a chance to make it to the big leagues. Kate Abbs Tobin Smith breaks it down for us. First cheers for the Abilene Flying Bison were heard this morning at a ribbon cutting ceremony at Walt Driggers Field. Kevin Berkla is one of the individuals that has been assisting the team with their corporate partnerships, but more than that, he's a huge fan. To see the community support is, is cool on my side too because it's, it's what we need. The team needs it's it's really big to have the local businesses backing uh, you know a new endeavor here and you know George the owner is taking care of everyone here and he's making sure he's doing things right. Kat Duguay is director of marketing with the team and she explains how this organization stretches beyond the scope of the key city. For our season we'll basically have players coming from all over the country to play in Abilene for the summer. Um, it goes from the end of May to the beginning of August so even though it is local we are having people come from all over to play with us which is really exciting. But when it's all said and done those involved with the team tell us it's mostly about the fans. I love baseball. Yeah, I'm a fan of baseball. I uh, love for my kids to play baseball. Chris Harrington has an obvious love for the game, and he expresses how thoughts of his experiences as a child have him thrilled at the chance to give the next generation those same experiences. Some of my memories from when I was a kid was going to the Prairie Dogs games and going to see the players and, and watching these, uh, these larger-than-life kind of superheroes, you know, uh, in uniform. They would come out and sign autographs after the game. Got to go with my dad, and so uh, I'm excited for Abilene to have a chance for me to share that with my kids. From Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Tobin Smith, KTAB News. Thank you, Tobin. First pitch for the Flying Bison, that will be on May 23rd. That's a Thursday. All home games, they will be played at Walt Driggers Field at McMurray University. All right, looks like it's a lot, lot of fun. Lots of folks will be coming to town to get a look at that. Absolutely. And and a play, too, Take apparently. Take me out to the ball game. Yeah.